All right, February 28, 2022, I'm standing here in front of the Lorraine Motel. Dr. King was assassinated. I, Arthur Vaughn, is going to recite part of his How I Have a Dream speech. I'm going to come back later and do the entire I Have a Dream speech. And this is how it went. I'm happy to join with you today in what will go down in history as the greatest demonstration for freedom in the history of our nation. Five, four years ago, a great American in whose symbolic shadow we stand today signed the Emancipation Proclamation. This momentous degree came as a great beacon light of hope for millions of Negro slaves who've been seared in the flames of withering injustice. This came as a joyous daybreak to end their long night of their captivity. But 100 years later, the Negro still is not free. 100 years later, the life of the Negro is still badly crippled by the manacles of segregation and the chains of discrimination. 100 years later, the Negro lived on a lonely island of poverty in the midst of a vast ocean of material prosperity. 100 years later, the Negro still languished in the corners of American society, finding himself in exile in his own land. But we come here today to dramatize the shameful condition in a sense, we come to our nation's capital to cast a check, to which our, the architect of our republic wrote the magnificent words of our Constitution Declaration of Independence. They were signing a promissory note for all Americans to fill air. This note was a promise to all men, yes, black men as well as white men, to be engaged in the inalienable right of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But it is obvious today that America has defaulted on this promissory note in so much as the citizens of color are concerned. Instead of honoring this sacred obligation, America has given the Negro people a bad check, a check that has come back marked insufficient funds. But we refuse to believe that the Bank of Justice is bankrupt. We refuse to believe that there are insufficient funds in the great boss opportunity of this nation. So we come here to cast this check, a check that will give us abundant man the riches of freedom and the security of justice. Now, I can continue this and go on and on do the entire speech, but I just want to do this today since it was the last day in February of this month, 2022, honoring Dr. King, Martin Luther King Jr., here to Lorraine Motel, where he was assassinated, and honoring him, Black History Month. This is Arthur Vaughn. Love all of you. Have peace, love. We're all one race.